In this video, we are gonna be looking at some of the greatest unboxings of the tail end of the year. You're gonna be finding out what is in these packages. I'm gonna get straight into it by looking at these boots in this box, and they are a little bit special, so they come with some extra studs. I've actually switched them out for some gold ones. Um, these come from our Nike ID video that we made on the channel, so they're the Mercurial Bayou's, and check out that sole plate on these that's just stunning, that red chrome. Then the upper YouTube-inspired, red and white you can see also that we've gone with the black and orange swoosh for the black and orange from the football boost team you can see their design by youtube on the heel pretty cool uh mercurial is on the side and then there's that graphic in the red and the white overall for a pair of superflies designed by you guys on the channel gold studs chrome red sole plate uh, orange laces engineered for speed written on the side there all the details of these are just so good what do you think of those please let me know in the comments how you rate those so the next pair of boots we're looking at are a pair of nike and as you can see from the bag they are the scorpions so these are inspired by the secret tv ad that nike put out in 2002 they've now dropped this colorway on the phantom gt a brand new boot for 2020 it does have that big scorpion logo on the side but it kind of works for me i do like the silvery chrome effect on the boot you've got that nike swoosh at the front the phantom gt is kind of in yellow they've also got scorpion logo on the heel as well um that new kind of split sole that they're using on the phantom gts and these clearly are the best phantom gts we've seen i think they're pretty popular with people wanting to give them a try they are a stunning pair of boots all right, talking about stunning pairs of boots, we are going to look at a brand new pair of Predators. Predator 20s, and they are in the black, the white, and the gold. And you've got to love this color combination for these. So you've got a bag there with um, the gold Predator logo on it. And then if you look at the boots, you can see on the sole plate, it is black at the front, gold at the back. The chrome is really nice on these. And then it's subtle Predator details. So those 402 elements sticking out of the demon skin, they're just in black. You've got the white Adidas three stripes. So these are very much understated if you compare them to something like the Uniforia or some of the other wilder releases that we've seen from Adidas. I think these are really nice, but they're not like a complete blackout. So it's just a classy pair of Predators. The black, white, and gold is a great combination for the Predator. Love those. All right, another pair of boots that I do indeed love are the Mizuno made in Japan. And these are in their brand new Cyber Pack. And look at the colors on the um, Mizuno Rumberg logo here. They just like go together so nicely. So this is the Morelia Neo. See the sole plate there? Um, it's incorporated those colors that we're seeing into that cyber as well. And I think it's been just given that extra bit of detailing that just really raises the level. So these are the Mizuno Neo Beta 3s. Um, I love them a lot. I'm really enjoying the color, the rainbow almost in that Rumbird logo. You've got the Neo writing at the back as well. And it's just the combination of that blue and the yellow and then the little hints of the kind of purpley pinks as well. Um, overall, I think one of my favorite Neos that we've seen so far, they brought out some really good ones. And the little bit of sparkle to that leather is a really nice touch. All right, talking about a nice touch, these are Halloween inspired boots from Puma. They are their fear pack. And what you can see is through the uh, net fit, you've got all these little eyes sticking out. Look at the sole plate on these though, it's really nice detailing. It's kind of that, um, I'm, kind of, I'm not sure how to describe it, but it just looks really nice on the sole plate. I don't mind the purple at all on these to look at. I'm not sure I'd necessarily wear them myself, but if they're your kind of color, then the combination of the purple and the green is quite nice together. And I think just that wildness of having those eyes sticking out in the net fit, they definitely tie in with Halloween. Um, a really nice fit with that. All right, let's go back to the Made in Japan's. We're gonna go back to the Mizunos. These are a different pair of boots, so they are the Rebulas, the Rebular Cups, but they look very similar to the Neos just because they've used that exact kind of colorway. It's got that rainbow feel to the Rumbird. They've gone with blue on the sole of these, um, and I think that's quite nice. I think it's a really nice combination. And then when you flip them over and you look at the upper, you can see that it has that same sparkle again. Look at that over the front. You can see the difference there really between the front and the back of the boot, the different sections and the really sparkly on the front. I really love that. Kind of reminds me a little bit of the original Evo powers from Puma actually, kind of looking at those. But overall, even that color fade with that line that's going around to the back is really nice. Gotta love the Rebular Cups. I think this is a fantastic looking boot. And I gotta say well done to Mizuno for this pack because the color combination of what is just a black boot, they've made to look really stunning in my eyes. 
Now, we're actually going to look at another black pair of boots here. And again, they are stunning. Interestingly enough, Neymar is not wearing these ones, though. So he's jumped out of the King. He's gone into the Puma Future Z teasers which um you can see on the link here if you want to click it but look at the gold chrome on this soul plate it wouldn't have been out of place to see neymar wearing these perhaps maybe if they're going to do the gold chrome soul plate why is there not a gold chrome swoosh probably would have been a nice little detail but again a great blackout boot um, from puma and these have got a lot of leather going on with them the uh, puma king platinums and they're a really nice looking boot interesting to see that kind of ribbing through the toe area you can see on that boot that's sitting down really how that stands out but overall, I think these are a nice boot. And if they were good enough for Neymar to wear, then they're going to be good enough for you to have a go as well, especially if you want to try leather boots. All right, talking about trying boots, you could also consider trying out the Adidas X Ghosted. Now, these have been a bit hard to get hold of because I think Adidas must have had some supply issues with trying to bring out a brand new boot. But check these out. These are the uh, X Ghosted, as I said. They're in that original in-flight launch. You can see the bag in there. The string bag comes with the pink X logo on it. But check out the sole plate on these. This is probably my favorite bit. The Carbotrex sole plate, it's got a bit of carbon fiber in that front area and it's just shining away at us. Looks so good. The upper is made of that Mirage skin and that means that you can get light that will go through it. You can also see your socks through it depending on what you're wearing. You've got those Adidas three stripes that are kind of inspired by the Peregrine Falcon and you get that kind of wing feeling to these. These look stunning to me. I really like these a lot. And obviously Adidas have been dropping a new release with a bird on it, which is really cool. All right, let's go see what um, New Balance has been up to. So you've got a shoehorn there, shows us that they are a laceless boot. You're gonna need some help getting these on. First off, let's look at this sole plate. I really enjoy this actually. It's got not just the metallic finish, but it's got this red kind of blended into it as well. It's a really nice kind of look and feel to it. Not many players on pitch wearing the Tecla, but New Balance are really pushing these. In fact, Ramos was seen wearing these um, in a Real Madrid uh, photo shoot. So he's obviously considering the Teclas. He's bouncing around between the um, Adidas, um, back to his Nikes and the Teclas as well. Be interesting to see where he ends up. Obviously, he was wearing a blackout pair. We did do a video on that as well, which will be coming on the channel. So there will be a link to that when it is available. But yeah, what do you guys think of the Teclas? Make sure you let me know in the comments below what you think of those. It has this interesting kind of print that they've put on the upper. Um, um, what aspects of it actually contribute to touch and what is it more of a design thing? I don't know. Interesting also the lockdown on these. If any guys have tried them, let me know what you think about them. It's interesting to compare them to the Predators and the other Adidas laceless boots and also the um, Umbro laceless boots that there are as well. Overall, it's quite a nice design, especially with that end of the New Balance logo on the side. It really stands out quite nice to me. All right, now we've got a pair of boots here, courtesy of Topham. So he's given us his unboxing of these Puma Ultras. And they are tied in with Unisport. So these are a special edition that they did with Unisport. In fact, they've done a couple of special editions for Unisport. They've done one to celebrate Unisport's 25 years. And these were just a crazy colorway that they put on the Puma Ultras. They were called the Drip, and you can see the effect here. So the concept being is it's kind of black dripping down on the boot. Although to be fair, the upper of the boot is black at the top and it's actually yellow paint at the bottom. So it's a bit of a mix up. Anyway, you can see them laid out here. So there's one yellow boot on the left side and one uh, orange boot on the right hand side. They are the Drip. So the yellow boot has a yellow sole and the orange boot has an orange sole. They also have a numbering on the heel, which is interesting to look at as well. It says one of 95. I'm not sure if these are definitely pair number one or whether they put one of 95 on all of the boots. I know that's something that Adidas did with their glitch release. Um, personally, I prefer the black and orange one, but hey, these could be black and orange for football boots, couldn't they? Perhaps we should get two of those and put them together and we've got a black and orange boot for our channel. Um, overall, a nice little touch to the Ultra. Um, interesting, as I said, I'll put some pictures up of the 25 year Unisport Ultras that they made as well. An interesting boot. I perhaps prefer these over the 25 year ones. All right, now these are interesting because they're a pair of boots I managed to pick up in the Black Friday sale. Can you guys guess what they are? You probably can from looking at the box. They are the Vapor Safari so this is like the ones that Ronaldo wore. He was, wears the um, Superflies. You can see the really stunning bag that goes with these as well. I mean, the whole package is just such a great combination. They've got the, um, even the swoosh on the box has got the Safari print on it. I really love the bag. I love the box. I love everything about these really. And then you also go and you've got the low version. So these are easier to get on. Doesn't have the extra collar if that's something that you don't feel like you need. And then the combination of the colors on the back, on the, on the boot and the bottom is really nice. You can see that Mercurial logo on the heel. Yeah, it's just a really stunning boot to be looking at. I love the bright orange pop of the swoosh against the upper itself. And they're such a good remake of the originals. I think they're a stunning boot. 
So guys, there's a few more boots to see in this video. Make sure you let me know which your favorite is. We're gonna go to another pair of boots that I picked up in the Black Friday sales, and these are a pair for Messi. So they are his um, like Messi Rosarios. They've got a lot of Messi details on there. They've got the Leo on the side. They're inspired by his time in Argentina, but also at Barcelona. It's got a massive 10 on the side, and it's based on his Nemesis 19 plus, uh, 19.1s. Subsequently, we've also seen the new Nemesis point ones, the kind of 20s that have come out. So these are one of the last 19s that we've seen, and I just love the graphics on these. I think this comes out really nicely. It's different on one boot to the other. Um, very vibrant, really stands out on pitch, and that's a good thing for me when you've got a boot for a signature name player it's a bit like having the big bright pink boots for Mbappe or even those safaris that we were looking at for Ronaldo really stand out on pitch all right so we're back to another unboxing thanks to Topham and this time we are looking at these they are a pair of Netflix you can see that on the box if you guys have seen these before they are the Paris Futures so they've got some incredible gold detailing on them. I really love this. It just really stands out. So these are one of the last Futures that we've seen before they brought out the Future Z. Yeah, there's been a lot of kind of city pack ones brought out. They did ones in Tokyo and ones in LA. I think it was in New York. Anyway, I think the gold and the black makes these look really premium. It's got the numbering on those as well. And then on the sole, that massive Paris is written on here. And I just think these are a stunning boot, especially perhaps if you were in France, Paris itself, then they would really be a great pick for you. All right, guys, talking about good picks for you, I really want to know what your favorite boot was in this video. Please let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Go enjoy your football.